We're just down at a little place called Anzac Park. This is just a quick overnighter, little freedom camping spot. It's beautiful, never been here before, but at the moment it's big, wide open space, plenty of space for the van. And I've got it to myself at the moment. I dare say later on, as the day progresses, we might get a few more little neighbors, but at the moment it's all mine. There's a little native bush walk, which I'm gonna take you on shortly. I've never been on it myself, so it's gonna be as new to me as it is to you. And I'm quite looking forward to that. The weather's a little bit patchy as you can see. This is gonna be my last video from the North Island because I'm, I'm as giddy as a little kipper on frigging speed. I really am, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited today. Traveling down to the South Island tomorrow. I'm gonna to spend 18 days, 20 days touring around the, uh, touring around the South Island. I cannot wait. So today is just a little bit of a quiet one. I'm thinking for today's shoot, we'll just have a bit of a meander around the bush and then have a bit of a feed and then come out this evening and take some astro shots. We've still got maybe, maybe the best part of half a moon. So there's gonna be quite a lot of light pollution, which will be okay because it saves me doing any light painting. There's no long trees that stand out incredibly for a, uh, for a photograph. But we'll, we'll see, I, I, I don't know. I might even get in the van and drive a bit further down and pick up a long tree. Who knows, I, I don't know yet. Either way, we're in for a little bit of uh, astro stuff. That's the main thing. Uh, let's go for a walk. And that was actually quite a nice little walk. Chicken chow man, beautiful. Not exactly the golden walk, but it'll do. I'm definitely gonna stay here tonight. Beautiful little spot, nice and quiet. But to get a photograph, a dark sky photograph, there's not a lot to focus in on. Plenty of trees around the area, but it's quite dense. Quite dense bush, apart from this, uh, this little clearing. So I need to find something that's gonna make a nice foreground element to add to the photograph. I might try a nighttime shot with the Fujifilm X100F and it's fixed 23 millimeter, 35 millimeter equivalent lens. That's a mouthful. Not that, that what I just said. But this is a mouthful, it's gorgeous. Second helping already. Oh, and I've got more for tomorrow. Oh, life's good. There's quite a lot of clouds knocking about, but they're moving through pretty quick. I think we're gonna get some glimpses of the clear night sky as the, as the clouds are rolling through the frame. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So, decision made. I've got a few neighbors now. There's about two or three vans coming. So there's no way I'm gonna get out shooting nighttime photography in the middle of a paddock, surrounded by other people, vans. That's just not gonna happen. Pretty much on dark now. And then we're gonna drive down a couple of kilometers down the road from sheer memory and hope. There's a couple of standout trees down there. I'll spend about an hour, maybe an hour and a half shooting a few different locations, a few different shots. We'll head back to this location, park up for the night, get a good night's kip, and uh, South Island tomorrow, baby. South Island tomorrow. Bit of a long drive down, actually. Pick my missus up, probably four hours drive down to the ferry, and from there, around about a three hour crossing on the ferry, and then it's the South Island, baby. Oh, frig, I am so frigging excited. Whew. Right. Let's get moving, come on. Well guys, it's freezing. I've even got the puffer jacket out. That's how cold it is. That's okay, good practice for next week down in the South Island where it's gonna be absolutely bitter cold, but gonna be beautiful. So dark as tonight, the moon's not risen. I've just taken a couple of shots of the tree behind me and the road, even put my van in there as well. And that looks pretty funky. Taking it with the Fujifilm X100F and it looks pretty bloody nice actually, I really like it. But because the Milky Way's out there, and it's, it's quite quite visible, it's quite dark, I'm gonna break out the uh, the big guns, and break out the Nikon D3S, the Samyang 14mm 2.8 on, and we're gonna get some nice, nice Milky Way stuff, I reckon. All right, let's uh, crack on. 
Well, that was an incredible hour, hour and a half. Absolutely stunning. Got a few trees, didn't see too many stars popping through. Then it started to clear a little bit and we got a few nice windows, windows to the stars. Sounds good, doesn't it? Windows to the stars. I might give this video that title. The clouds started rolling in a bit more, so I decided, right, that'll do. As I'm driving back to the campsite, I'm just pulling into the campsite, down the driveway there, and this tree, I never... <sighs> bit of a frost going on. But the sun's coming up, it'll be fine. Now, as I was trying to say last night, before the mic went flat on me, I managed to get a few nice photographs, Astro shots and Milky Way, particularly when I came back from my little road trip and I was just driving back into the campsite here. The skies had cleared, it was absolutely, oh, it was, it was beautiful. It was absolutely crystal clear. This was before the moon rose, obviously. 15, 20 minutes after I took the last Astro shot, which you'll see in a second, the moon came up, killed any crystal clear visuals of the Milky Way. So I dropped on pretty lucky, actually. That was, that was again, again, this is just no planning. I've not been looking on any apps, photo pills, any, anything like that. I've not looked at them. I just kind of lazily, I just kind of wing it, just turn out on the night, have a look at the sky. If I can see the Milky Way, I shoot it. If I can't, yeah, you know, I'll try another night. It's not the best way of working, I guess, but it's, it sort of works for me. And, and bear in mind, all my photographs of the Milky Way, Astro stuff, all single take, no stacking, no blending, nothing like that. They all average around about 25, 30 second exposure times, and that's it. I probably don't understand it, actually. I probably don't understand the whole multiple image stacking idea. I, I, I understand it, but I, I don't know. For me, for me, I like to get one, one frame. God, you're waffling. The upshot is, I got a couple of nice photographs of the Milky Way. I did convert one of the photographs into black and white, which I, I, I adore it. I've done it a few times before with Milky Way photographs and it's a little bit different. It's a little bit edgy, it's a little bit out there, but I, I just love, I just love a black and white Milky Way photograph. Just love it. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoy guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Check in for future episodes because uh, we've got quite a lot coming up from the South Island. <laughs> Have I mentioned I'm going to the South Island? Don't know if I'll mention it. If not, I'm going to the South Island and I'm so freaking excited. All right guys, catch you later. Have a good day, night, wherever you are.